Good evening, and welcome back to the Republic News Network. I'm Captain Shaq, and tonight, our top stories. The Technology Research Institute for Defense, Engineering, and Naval Technologies, also known in polite conversations as Trident, has had another major breakthrough. No, not in Starship design, as it's far more well-known, but in the field of cloning human beings. Many of you may be asking, why? Just because we could potentially clone people, why would we? Well, to answer this question, we need to look to data from the Society of Republic Growth and Welfare, who have voiced a continued warning. The number of children born each year has dropped sharply with each generation after the technology revolution. With every new country joining the first world status, we can see a sharp decline in the desire for children in the population. Could it be because they're small, noisy, and smell funny? Maybe. We are, as this data suggests, at a point where in 20 years, the elderly population of our world will outnumber the younger working class generation handedly. The efficacy of human cloning has been an ongoing debate in scientific circles and political arenas for the last few decades after the discovery of viable cloning technology found in the Dune Sea. Supporters have claimed it's no less ethical to burden our young with the care of this oncoming massive elderly population. A handful of potential candidates have been chosen from across the spectrum of political and economic backgrounds. Private Honorissa McKnight from the Republican Guard, Sergeant Blaze Warden, a gunnery sergeant in the Republic Navy, and an individual named Zan Durr, whose records are being withheld without comment, and a number of other potential candidates. In other news, pathfinders like Captain Rachel Bean and Auxulia Durgent do regret, continue to break records traveling farther than any member of the Republic in the history of our world. The colony of Bastion is about to online its main base reactor, making it the second off-world terrestrial base of the Republic. The original plan was to use the world of Pandora as an agricultural world helping bolster food production, but after a deep survey, it's become abundantly clear that only three districts are available that are capable of growing crops. Compared to Bastion Prime's massive equatorial belt of useful land, equaling somewhere around 11 recognized districts, the plans may be swapped. Colonists are being offered the chance to transfer from one planet to the other as transportation allows. If you're interested in joining the farming initiative on Bastion, see your local Republic recruiter. In exploration news, the Havania is only a few jumps away from the distant Shigur Nebula. Little is known about this area of charged particles as most scans of the area are bounced right off the mass. Could it be a new source of power or resources? Could life exist in the nebula just beyond our scanners? Who knows? Only time will tell. That's it for us tonight. Thanks for watching. My name is Captain Shaq. Together, we travel the stars. Hello, fellow humans, and welcome back to Stellaris. My name is Captain Shaq, if you haven't guessed already, and welcome to episode two. So, we are back with the intros for the Stellaris season, playing as the New Republic as we expand out into the galaxy. I've gone in, I've named some of our science ships, we've taken a few names from the comments section of, um, well, let me turn the game down just a little bit here. Uh, we've taken some names from the comments section for planets. Uh, we still have a few that we need to name, a few sectors, not just the ones that we're colonizing, mind you. Uh, but... There we go. Turned down the game just a, just a little bit. So, the names we took, we have Bastion on the Western Front and Pandora, our other colony. One of our colonies are actually about, I believe, to come online. Our other one should already be. No. Yeah, one's about to come online. That's Pandora, which was originally planned to be a farming colony. But you guys left some really good comments about how, Shaq, you can't use that as a farming colony. There's just not enough uh, agricultural area on the planet. We can zoom in here so we can actually take a look at the planet. There's not enough growable area on the planet to use it for agriculture. You just can't do it. So I agreed with that, but Bastion's a little bit different. Bastion, zoom in on here, actually has a bit more in the way of agriculture, so we can expand this some. So there we go, unless we end up getting another colony. Now for our Imperial Sprawl, as our Empire Sprawls out, we're at 29 out of 30, so we're actually pushing the limits. No, we have an administration capacity of 50 because we took that perk. That's right. That's right. All right. Let's go ahead. We'll run at a normal speed. Uh, we do have some exploring going on. We've got the Havania way up in the north heading toward the nebula. Um, not actually scanning the sectors. More just kind of exploring and seeing if there's any other factions out there, uh, any other life out there, and then what kind of systems we're seeing. I do know, actually. Is this a... No, it's a barren world. Okay. Is this a... 
also a barren world. Construction? Uh, I do know that there is a, it looks like a black hole out here. So, hmm, interesting. Construction has completed. The Grand Republic, how are we doing on population and workforce? Well, available jobs are four. We have 10 housing still available. So we're actually looking okay. We're looking all right. Uh, we really should. Oh, that reminds me. Uh, the other thing that Pandora had, somebody had mentioned, and I wanted to check if this was true, for power output. Uh, was there magnetic field? I thought this had some kind of fancy, yeah, Batharian fields, there we go. So apparently this can give us extra power output. So this may be one of our major credit producers, or energy producers for fueling the rest. Max generators per district, plus three. Wind-torn vegetation clings to the high crags and stormy cliffs of these rainy mountains. Oh, that's why you have so many generator districts. Interesting. That's really cool. I like the new planet system. I'm still figuring it out a bit. All right, so uh, Tabor 5 is uninhabited, and indeed uninhabitable, but not unvest unvisited. Its surface is littered with tall uh, cenotaphs carved with some mineral not native to the planet, evidently placed here by some artificially inclined spacefaring race. Um, artistically inclined, excuse me. Uh, miles of flowing lines definitely chart a history so fantastical it must System surely be fictional. Concluded. Surely. That is a ton of engineering. Uh, one of the things that I want to do, because we're starting to reach toward the, 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 the largest of our empire um, for sprawl, and we're going to get a few more sectors in here, and I want to make sure that they're valuable sectors, uh, is research. I want to go ham on research this time. So much so, we're going to go ahead and build our research stations here, burning a little bit of our metal. Go ahead and pause. Construction ship, what are you doing up here? Demand of gas, we can't get that until we have heavy, yeah, very heavy turbo laser technology. Can't do any of that. Uh, but Evasive having... maneuvers. That's not Tabana, that's a crystal. Evading hostile fleet. The Havania, way up here, has encountered an alien species. What have you encountered? Uh, we've made our first contact with some kind of living life form. A 560 strength fleet. Really? We could investigate them. This will give us 500. Yeah, let's do it. Research it. I want to know more about these aliens. So that's our first life outside of our star sector. Now, are they chasing us? Are they actually hostile? Don't run. Hang on. Fleet stance. Passive. I want to see they come at you. They don't seem to be going directly for your face. Oh, you jumped out. Can you... Ooh, I don't know if I should do this. I want to know what's here. Explore the system. I want to see if they chase you. Are they hostile? That is a trinary star system. Whoa. Whoa. Okay, let's check. He's on his way. A new election for president is underway. Is this our first election? I think it might be. Uh, let's see. Starbase modules decrease and in mining income. Mining income would be nice. Trade value increase. Eh, I don't know about trade value. I'd rather have mining. Let's see. Is there anybody currently looking to win? It could be you or you. CT1995 or Corin. I'm not going to spend the income necessary. All right, let's see. I want to see what happens. Are they running toward us or do they not care? Yeah, they're neutral. Just because they're there. I bet if we get Our too close. Our ship is under fire. Shit. Okay, may have made mistakes in life. All of the mistakes. I'm still giving you orders to leave. Oh, no. I may have just doomed the Havania. Run, Havania, run! So, we got too close. I should have given them more orders to be like, stay out of the range. They're shooting at you, run! No! A they new world has shit. been colonized. Damn it. <laughs> I think we're gonna have to build the Havania too. I really wanted to see what was back here. Oh, there was another route! Oh, we could have come this way. Ah. Uh, what are you doing? Nothing. All right, survey this. Crap. Continue to survey. Wait a minute. The Havania survived? It emergency jumped out and it survived. Oh, good, great, that's awesome. Yeah, that's Kyber Crystal, it's not, not what I thought it was. All right, uh, we can get a little bit of trade value and mineral output from the sector here. Uh, that might not be a half bad idea. How are you doing on your research? You're doing fine. Uh, 
And you're building right now. You're building our research centers. Good. Construction good. completed. Uh, it's fine. You guys vote for who you want to vote. I'm not going to affect the voting in any way. Not super interested just yet. Uh, oh, we get a thousand on food, so we can start growing our population. I am going to go ahead and, and build this. So go ahead and move here. Once you have the opportunity, we will uh, we'll build a, a station here and claim this territory. Current name for it is Logam. We're going to need some names from you guys in system the comments section for some concluded. more planets. Uh, wow, that is a really just shitty system of nothing. Well, survey the next one. It's a trinary system. Ruler has been elected. Okay. Oh, you took my physics science. We have detected an anomaly. Hold on. I'm pa pause for a second. Let's see. Hagonia has been elected president of the Galactic Republic. All right, that's fine. Uh, wow. Wow. That's a long time. Difficulty five. Take, what, three years to research this? Uh, E9R3254. Periodically spews an alarming electrical mix of particles and radiation into the void. What system, what system is this? R, R9, E9, what a bizarre name. E9, blah, 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 blah. Do regret is currently researching that one. Ah, uh, that's a long research time for you to be doing nothing but that. Hmm. See, I'm, I'm more interested in what empires are around us and what potential uh, resources could be good, but a level five, the scientist level two, Fine. Fine. We need to get a new scientist. This is for physics research. Let's pick up. Leader lifespan. So you have a chance to level up. And we'll rename you by the end of the next episode. Or by the, uh, the beginning of the next episode. Uh, you finished yours. You're on the way out. We'll go ahead and turn that back on and get everybody moving around. Uh, we have that. Okay, the anomalies up here. This is the sector that we picked that up in. Oh, man. That's going to take a while. All right, but at least you'll get some experience out of it, I guess. Uh, we do have Tabana gas in the sector. Uh, I'm gonna ask you to build a mining station for it. We'll start mining up a little bit of Tabana. Where, where does it tell us our uh, our fancy resources? Here we go. I wonder if Tabana will pop up on here once we have mines, since we can already mine it. This actually has five Tabana gas. Oh, I wonder how much, like what this, what I can use this for. Probably be under policies. All right, so we've got a new ruler. Cool. Anomaly found. Anomaly found. Uh, oh, yeah, there's an anomaly here, isn't there? How long would you take to research? 591. We'll come back. We'll come back. With a couple more levels, we'll be able to rip through that a little bit faster. Uh, Havania is still lost in space. We've lost contact with the Havania in the nebula. And the Shigure Nebula. Can you rename nebulas? No, apparently not. Maybe if you own them. Or they may have never have done that. They may never have added that as a, as a thing. So one of the things that you guys brought up me doing is picking up another um, alloy factory. This is probably going to need to be a thing because we're only getting plus six alloy and this is how we build any kind of like military defense. Get more science ships if we want to pick them up. It's kind of a big deal. So we're, we're most likely going to have to do that. Uh, how goes our new colony? Well, population is growing ever so slowly at 3.4 per month. Uh, base growth reduced by 50% due to planet being newly colonized. How long does that last for? Doesn't say. Yeah, it doesn't say. They are getting some from immigration. I wonder, kind of curious, we could do a decision right now. We have a thousand food. I think I'm gonna do it. Encourage planetary growth for another 25%. So right now, we're getting a 2.82. Uh, on the planet with all of those bonuses. And I think I'm gonna bump that up even more. It's gonna eat a ton of our food. What are we actually up to? All right, it's gonna put us at 78 food. But I'm gonna do it because that lasts for four, almost 4,000 days. That is a long time. Meaning our population is gonna grow even faster. Meaning we're gonna have to fill a lot of jobs, but it'll also open all this up. I love this idea that we're cloning. There was a comment in, there was a, a comment that said that uh, we, in all of our other series, we had um, Alden clones. Alden has always been one of our heroes, uh, a viewer. And now with his cloning technology, it's kind of spread to the rest of the galaxy, to the rest of the Galactic Republic. And we've all got a little bit of Alden in us now. So we're super doomed because he dies in every campaign. 
Like the one Star Trek campaign where he died because he got punched too hard by a bird. That was a thing. It actually happened. It actually happened. Uh, all right, Starship Design, do we ever upgrade you guys? I know I refit you with, I believe, blasters. I didn't refit you with blasters. Oh, what is wrong? Why did I, why? Ugh. Our fleet is really, really pathetic. I'm a little hesitant to build it up anymore, though, because I believe these ships all have a maintenance value of... Uh, what do you cost to maintain? No? Let's see, leaders, jobs, star-based, ships. Seven maintenance in ships right now. Though It's not just these, it's all the uh, science ships as well. Uh, how we doing? You're continuing to scan. We could probably bump this up a little bit and let time go by a bit faster. I'm gonna try to do that, try to make this a bit of a shorter a campaign prepared for us. Has concluded. Space amoebas has finished. So this is our research of the questionable alien race that's up here. The entities encountered by our fleet some time ago are new, wondrous forms of space-born life. Quickly name space amoeba. Following an analy uh, analyst's gross misreading of initial sensor output, the creature is in fact larger than the average Republic Corvette. We should leave it be and remotely monitor the creature and its kin from the Grand Republic. We do get a special project. Pacification. We can learn to coexist or fascinating creature. Let's do coexistence and see if we can pass by it. The public log has been updated. I mean, it's it's not so much that we're trying to be, you know, Federation. We love everybody. Uh, more, we don't have the fleet capacity to deal with it, and we don't really have any reason to try to kill them. But I am curious about the research for it. Uh, what is it? F two to get into my research. Interesting. Uh, what I would like to work on. That's an asteroid, a radiating asteroid. We'll let that continue. Uh, these are our anomalies. Situation log. What would you... 5,000 cost. Wow. Okay. It will take 235 months to complete this research. What are we researching right now before we stop our, our current physics research? Automatic exploration and survey speed. Talk about something I could really use right now. Wow. Okay. All right. I mean, we could... Yeah. Yeah. I am. I'm gonna do it. Research it. I'm. I'm curious. Research it. 235 months. That's Construction not awful. completed. Put a bonus of a year into that. Uh, we do have Far Dawn has finished its construction. Factions founded. We have two factions now, at once. Great. Uh, we have a new faction has recently gaining traction, uh, led by Governor Belmona. How dare you? Uh, Bemalona. They call themselves the Alien Tolerance Institute. Their members have been pushing hard for friendly relations with alien species. We haven't met any, but okay. This disgruntled faction will be a source of trouble, but not one that... Okay, we can deal with it. A new faction has recently come up with scientists, led by scientist Raythan. They call themselves the Electoral Freedom Watch. Their members work for equality and justice for all denizens of our empire. Interesting. We are actually getting, this is actually great, we're getting 1.3, this is probably gonna even out a bit, from one of them, and 0.57. We need to make new contact with an alien species to make them happy, and no purges. Wow, you're really easy to keep happy. Randomly run into someone, don't purge anyone. I'll do my best not to randomly purge people, thanks. Jeez. Uh, we got some physics research down here, that could be useful, let's go ahead and pause. Our governor has ranked up. Congratulations, governor. Governor. So far, so good. Are there any governmental decisions that we can make? Let's see, oh, that's not what we want. We're currently running, by the way, the diplomat the drive prime. voice. I think it's fairly fitting. Camino cloning. Our army build speeds are slower, but we get a ton of starting experience. Nice. All right, we'll go ahead and let it unpause while I'm just playing through menus right now. Like our policies, our edicts. Here we go, edicts. Oh, here we go. This is how you use the Tabana gas, I think. Uh, focusing crystals. Energy weapon damage, 25%. Volatile ammunition. It's not anything that we really have. Map the stars. That's what we need. So, this edict pushes for further galactic exploration. Survey speed goes up 25%, anomaly discovery 10%. 
I think this this would be very useful. We wouldn't be able to build another space station anytime soon. Like we were taking, we're gonna take this over. Uh, you know what, we might just do it anyways. What does this sector give? Shield nullification by 100%, ouch. Uh, it is extra minerals though, and trade value. That's tempting. 67 and 100. I kind of want you to finish this. All right, we'll, we're gonna expand a little bit. We'll take it, we'll take it for the extra trade. Go ahead and build. We've got our new unity point, our very last thing, star base upkeep reduced by 20%. Let's go ahead and grab that. That finishes our whole damn thing and our ascension perk. Now, uh, this is a tough one. This is a tough one, I don't know. I know you guys had some opinions on this. We talked about it a little bit in the comment section. I'm gonna go right now in the middle of this episode and re-review our comment section from the last episode. Pause here and I'll be right back. All right, so waited out a little bit more. We're gonna go technological ascendancy. Now I thought Imperial prerogative was gonna be the way I was gonna end up going, but I've taken that too many other times and the bonus to research, the 50% to rare stuff popping up seemed like a really good idea. I wanna see some new text come out that really changes how we play, so. We're gonna take that and see how it goes. Hopefully, we don't regret it. Um, I looked through the comment section. There was only a few comments talking about ascendancy perks, but they were talking about ones way later down the line, not ones that I can actually get right now. So there we are. Let me know in the comments what you think the next ascendancy perk is gonna be. That I really want to know. Okay, Bastion Prime is still getting colonized. How is our planet doing? Uh, population on here, 1.5 growth speed. Uh, you're fine, let's see. We've got three jobs available currently and nine housing left. So we should start thinking about picking up something else. At 30 population, we'll get another, another ground. Let's see, we're at 29 now. Let's wait until we get one more pop and then we can put down another foundry maybe. It's gonna eat some of our minerals, but I think it'll be worth it. So we can start producing ships. Uh, all right, construction ship. You're already building and expanding the Republic. Completed. There we go. Uh, you're doing some scanning. Getting along, getting along. Construction ship's not just sitting there. Uh, do I want to expand in any particular direction? How are we doing on total Imperial Sprawl? We have detected 31 out of 50. Uh, you know what? Go ahead, CT. Go ahead and do your research. Do we ever get... Are you back? You're back. Where are you? Oh, you're not, that, you're not even that far away. Excellent. Excellent. Why don't you go... Hmm. We have no science ship going this direction. We've got one heading south. We are, we are backed into a corner, though I would like to know what's up here. I kind of want to see if this is a dead end, you know? And then we could expand maybe out to here and lock it down for future expansion. I don't want to go too wide. I don't want to get it to the point where we can't defend ourselves, but that might not be a bad idea. All right, here's what I want. I want you to go here and survey this dead-end system just to see where it is and see where it goes. Uh, and from there, we may head this direction. See what's north. Construction ship. Construction ship. Can you, you can't trade these, can you? These special gases and stuff, which I don't even see on our list, to be honest. Um. The system just really isn't worthwhile. This one is, though, for the extra research. We'd have to push out to that point. You, go ahead and build mining stations here. And you, so what's the deal with the space station? Can we not get any kind of trade all the way out to here? I was hoping to take advantage of the trade that we've got. Construction ship. Come on down and build. Do we want to go north or south? That's three plus two trade. That's three power right there. Or we could go north. That's six extra minerals. Hmm. You're on your way out. Five days to go. And you're still scanning this section. How much more is there left in this sector? Construction, 
Construction completed. Okay, signal originates from the remains of an antenna-like structure. Exploratory probes were dispatched from the Ebon Hawk to the surface to investigate the matter more closely. What Science Officer CT 1995 found was a uh, cavernous vault that, while easily uh, pried open, was evidently the last safe house and refuge of some long-dead race of aliens. All reasonable technology advances. Uh, while reasonably technologically advanced, it seems they never reached for the stars and perished at some point due to a natural disaster. Uh, Project Limbo. Situation log device. has been updated. Oh, tell me more about this data storage device. Scientist in orbit. All right, well, that shouldn't be too hard to research. This Project Limbo. No, this is the irradiating. Ooh, he's almost done. Here's the asteroid. So this was the one that was going to take, like, years. Uh... The Don't Shoot Me finds a disturbing tangle of, yeah, that's the name of the ship, by the way, tangle of technology hidden at a deep crater on the asteroid surface. Evidently, someone has, with rather simple means, managed to stabilize a one-way wormhole. In Science Officer, uh, Duerger quickly asserts that the asteroid is the exit point. The other end opens up somewhere in uncharted space, some light years away from the black, from a black hole, and some quantities of dark matter are leaking beyond uh, being siphoned through the wormhole. They must have abandoned the operation. Holy crap. We're getting some like long-term research things. I do want to research this though, so let me go to on it. Hey, uh, that's only a 60 day research. Finish the job. Finish the job. Strategic resource discovered. Uh, the Don't Shoot Me has discovered previously unknown, uh, that's the dark matter. That's what we were talking about. Cool. I was wondering why that came up and what it meant. Uh, I'll be here. You found dark matter. I've never had dark matter before. It'll be interesting to see what that does. So, before you run off, let's go ahead and pause. What are you working on right now? There's two of you, and you're both doing two different things. Right. Right, 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 right. Aw, oh, ships are heading out. Sadly, we weren't able to really explore this. I do want to pick up ship design. Okay, you are redesigned, Corvettes. Ah, I rechanged you, but not patrol craft. Interesting. The Raven the class. project has concluded. Ah, uh, the vault is a tomb for hopeful immortals. Science officer CT1995 asserts that the huge blocks of um, Terranary code found in the databanks are neural images, digitalized brain scans, and doubtless the aliens consider this to be their only shot at any kind of survival. How, uh, following, however, calamity befell their planet, they didn't a uh, calamity befell their planet. All right, so let's. You can let them lie. Hmm. Let's see. They did not have the means to resurrect themselves, but banked on the impossible hope that eventually someone else would have the means. You know what? We will download their brains because we don't have the means yet. We may someday have the means. Let's build a couple of these Raven class patrol craft. I love this idea. Uh, we need to build a few. We haven't built any starships yet. Oh yeah, you're you're maxed out on uh, on j jabs. You need jabs. So good grief, you've got a lot of city districts. Uh, adds per trade value too. Hmm. Or eight energy. Let's go with eight energy. Build that. Energy is a little low, and we use it for just about everything. And since we're building that, let's pick you up. Uh, sun station. We should rename you Core Station. As in, like, the core of the Republic. Core Station. Done. Uh, let's get you a... Corvette. Wait a minute, why can't I build those patrol craft? Oh, I get it now. So if you're wondering what's going on with the patrol craft, and I saw a question about this, I'll go in on pause while we do it. These patrol craft, ship designer, these patrol craft are actually the craft that will spawn if you have a military outpost on the planet using that mod. Now, I will be putting the mod list in this episode when it releases. Uh, I know I didn't last time, uh, and there was a fair, actually a pretty good reason for that because I was getting a message from the developer for the weapons mod that it's about to be rebalanced and it won't work with this version. Luckily, they're making me a legacy version so I can continue to play. So I was kind of waiting for the, um, the updated links for that and to see where that goes. So this time I will put the links. Uh, just bear in mind that the weapons mod that I'm using is about to get a, a little bit of a rebalance and it won't work with prior versions. Um, I will also link the legacy version once it comes out into the playlist. 
So, Evan Hawk, what are you doing? You should be scanning that. Oh, you finished your job. I see what, you, what you've done. And then I want you to head down south. I want to see what's down there. So, go ahead. Construction ship. You finished your job. Well done. Uh, Knowledge is the key to you know, the universe. Dark matter. I can't even do anything with you. What do we pick up? We got mural, a mural, mineral purification plant and production targets. Lasts 11 years. Increases mining by 20%. Nice. Uh, we could go for missile batteries or bombers. What do you mean, TIE bomber, TIE fighter? Oh, we already have the rebel version. That's why. Right? It's weird that we can get TIE fighters and TIE bombers. Do we want torpedoes? I never go missiles. We could go totally proton torpedoes. Oh, that's where we use it. There's the cost. Tabana gas. These even cost Tabana gas as well. So you have to have that, that resource coming in if you want to build these things. Um, what's your damage output? Uh, damage is 2 to 8. Uh, 8 units at 0.26. Average damage is 20. Average damage on you is 6.86. But you get a lot of shield and armor penetration. Shield, armor, and hull damage. Wow. No shit. Armor damage is only 25%. Still, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. A little expensive, but pretty good. Uh, strike crafter. We can't use strike craft because we don't have anything with hangers. Boom. Let's go for missiles. Let's go for concussion missile technology. That's what the Republic's going to be rocking. Uh, during its survey of Steropa 3 Alpha, the Don't Shoot Me discovered a previously unknown strategic resource dubbed Zero. Or Zero. Z-R-O. It is an extremely rare aerosol of exotic particles that appears to have been deposited here through a meteorite impact. But its true origin is a mystery. If ingested by psionically gifted individuals, this aerosol should act as a very potent and potentially addictive drug that enhances psi abilities. While we do not yet possess the means to extract this resource, we should seriously consider establishing control over the system for future uh, exploitation. A lot of rare resources, like right here. I wonder if we can trade these resources to races who want them. Construction completed. So, to ban a gas now means a little bit more to us because we're going to need it to build capital ships. Which I find interesting. Very interesting. Let's pick up... Crap, we can't afford it. You need housing? Are you hurting for housing? Population. Uh, we are... Yeah. Evasive maneuvers. Whoa, pause. Pause, 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 pause. What the hell? Oh, it's another one of you. Crap. I hope the research for this goes well. I think we're researching it, right? Yeah, we're still researching it. Very expensive. I think it has something to do with, like, it'll auto -reese. Uh, we'll find out. We'll find out what it does. I don't think I've ever done it. I've always blown them up. Uh, what we need to do is deal with council is elected on a platform of bringing our monthly mineral surplus up to at least 30 a month. Uh, it's at plus 40. Oh, plus 30 more. Rewarded with six months worth of unity. Max 1,000. Hmm. All right, good to know. Okay, so we do need housing. Building, no, it's a building slot available. We are gonna pick up more alloys. I think that's exactly what we're gonna do too. Alloy foundry established. It's gonna eat some of our minerals, but worth it. Let's go ahead and let that do its thing. Uh, we do have our hostiles, not gonna take you off of passive. What are you doing? Yeah, you're on evasive. Okay, yeah, go ahead and run. Uh, we'll have to deal with that, or let the research finish. Construction ship. Debating which direction I want to go. I do think A we new want world this. Has been colonized. Hey, we got our new world. Completed. Bastion is Anonymous online. Readings registered. Fantastic. There are signs of activity by an ancient precursor civilization on this inhospitable rock. Um, Go ahead and research it. Could be worth 
You're way up here. Potentially, ah, there's an Arctic world up there too. So you've got dark matter and that on one sector. Yeah, we know what direction we're gonna be going towards. We're gonna be calling dibs on that. Let's go ahead and get the research centers done there and start claiming territory going in that general, that general way. Evan Hawk, what are you researching? Nothing right now. Hmm. We could go north or we could go this direction. It's an interesting setup here. Evan Hawk. Go ahead and survey that since we can't pass through here yet without dying. And go. Construction ships are gonna be a little busy. Now I could buy these. Can't I? I think I can. Uh, I can buy the hundred we need. It'll cost us a bit of our power at a market fee of 30%. Hmm. Knowledge and it would give us enough to, to claim universe. another piece of territory. System survey yeah, concluded. Let's hold off on that. We may need those credits in an emergency. All right, research complete. Our naval capacity is up by a plus two per soldier job. I think that'll be pretty useful for us as we build the Galactic Republic's military force. Uh, and we use that new mod we've got to establish sector patrols. Uh, we also get army damage 33%. Cool. Offworld Trading Company. So you can research into an office of a non-government or a... Da -da -da -da. Dedicated to improving the conditions of interstellar trade. Plus two trade value for each trade hub. Tile blockers are gene clinics. Now gene clinics, job based production. Oh, is that plus, yeah, that's plus, perfect. This is what we're stacking. So this is gonna give us uh, medical workers turn consumer goods into amenities and pop growth speed increases with this, which is what we're stacking. So we'll go ahead and do this. This will give us uh, the best healthcare in the galaxy. Is I think what we're gonna go with. Uh, we're really worried about keeping our citizens healthy, healthy, healthy and happy. I think I need more coffee. Hmm. Oh, that's good coffee. All right, construction ship. What are you What are you doing? That construct. Okay, the alloy foundry is almost done. I want to see how much of this drops by. Upkeep is twelve minerals to get us six. So it's a one. It's a two for one. And it's probably going to eat power too, isn't it? Yeah, four power upkeep. Let it finish up. Construction completed. Okay. He didn't, I didn't take a hit. Maybe it hasn't gone through. It probably takes a month for it to go through before we take the uh, the alloys hit. Oh no, oh no, we've ran out of food. All right, we're all right. We still got 361, that'll last us for a few months. Uh, and Bastion is now properly online. So I will put the order in for more food and agriculture. We need to plan this out. Uh, you will give us jobs for we only have one housing and zero jobs available, so it's a good time to start building this. Uh, this will give us farmer jobs plus two, housing plus two. Let's go ahead and start flushing this out. And whatever we can put down eventually, that will give us more food output. Um, man, what we really need is more bio research, or more society research, excuse me. Uh, let's see, research. Where do we sit right now? We're at plus 14. Going for gene clinics and torps. That's taking forever. I wonder if that was the wrong choice. I mean, it is what it is, but ay ay ay. All right, don't shoot me. What are you up to? You finished your job, excellent. I'm gonna queue up a few things for you. I want you to run up here and scan the entrance way in this direction. Um, I'm a little surprised that this far in we haven't actually run into any other uh, empires. Let's turn off the detailed list. For now. Construction uh, completed. Good, you've claimed it. You might as well pick up the mining station. Good, good, good. And... I mean, I want to get the physics out here. Zero society research so far that we've found. It's kind of crap. It's kind of crap for us. We're at 13 now? Huh. 
All right, yeah, we'll lock this down. This is as far south as we're gonna go in this direction. Expansion planner, seeing the worlds that we have in our territory right now. Uh, yeah, and they're not even that great, so we'll just ignore those for now. Construction completed. Oh boy, okay, Bastion, how you doing on that Aggie world, huh? You getting your first, your first uh, sector done? An ancient observatory has been found on the surface of Solex II. The Solex system is fairly distant from the region of space where the Volterium originated. Uh, we have a special project Situation for lock has the been observatory. Updated. So, do we want to do that research? I'm going to say yes requires go to a science ship in orbit. When did you take so much? Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah, you're that ship. Hmm. Right, 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 right. Go ahead and finish the job. 180 days isn't too bad. You should be able to research through that pretty quickly. Construction completed. Uh, check out the observatory, and maybe we'll get some more research out of it. Da -da -da -da. Construction completed there. So we have our first food production area. Ooh, strategic resource. The Evan Hawk has discovered a previously unknown strategic resource. Volatile moats. These pre... Preternatural particles contain a tremendous amount of energy, which could be exploited uh, in energy production. Oh, ooh. We do not yet have the ability to... Where is that? Where did you find that? You found it here. All right. Good to know. Starting to find rare resources out there, and that's energy production. That's going to be super useful. Construction ship, what are you doing? Uh, you've done the thing I've told you to do. Fair enough. Hmm... We're going to move you there, because I want you to lock that down as soon as possible. The extra three power and the extra minerals will be more useful now than later. Uh, how are we doing on jobs four? Nine housing available. You're doing okay. You're going to need an upgrade. I don't really know what to do with you. You're not really great at any one thing. Except for, obviously, city districts, which gives trade value. Gives trade value and... What is this one resource? That's your consumer goods? Trade value and amenities. That's amenities which is population happiness of some kind. So, hmm, all right, for now, give me a bit more power output. Ah, you're kind of crap at that. All right, city district, build it. Go for the amenities, let it run. System survey concluded. System survey concluded. So we're at 23 physics, 32 society, and 37 engineering. Wait, I thought we had the most in physics research. I guess we haven't. We're about to get more physics. What do we get? The doorway. What can only be described as a dimensional portal has been discovered in a remote location on Bastion Prime. What? On Bastion Prime? Whether prediction algorithms noticed a strange air current, which was eventually determined... Oh, so, so wait, air, it's big enough for air currents. It's like sucking air out. Slight leakage of atmosphere into the portal. The rate of loss is far too small for it to make any difference to life on Bastion Prime, but the very existence of this portal raises some disturbing questions, such as where does it lead, and could something come through the portal? We have a Situation ton of special projects now. Updated. I have so many questions. I've never seen this before. Wow, that's going to take a while. 57 months. Probe the portal on Bastion Prime. Probe it. Probe it good. I, I'm, my own curiosity is overriding everything else. I want to know what's in there. You probe that thing. Grand Fleet System does have a new ship. Concluded. We have our very first uh, pre-built. Got to rename you. Uh, a new ship has joined up. I'll rename completed. you later and pull you off the patron list. Uh, agricultural project completed. 
uh, architectural, uh, blah, blah, blah. archaeological dig on Solix 2 has uncovered a small mural in one of the observatory dust-covered small chambers. It seems to depict several different constellations, possibly, as they would appear if viewed from the Vulture homeworld. Our astronomers have not been able to identify them. Interesting. All right, that's another one of those down. Uh, so we're eating consumer goods like crazy. We're gonna have to start producing more of them. Consumer goods are used for research. That's the resource used for research on planet-based stuff. So we need to make more consumer goods. To do that, well, we gotta balance this out. We need to get more people. <laughs> we need to grow faster. Constant need to grow faster. Meeting food's a problem. How you doing on growth rate? Are you still getting that 50% due to, yeah, 50% due to being newly colonized. I wonder how long that's gonna last. Because Bastion's the newest colony. Still, 2.0 growth speed is not bad this early on. Uh, or the Grand Republic is sitting at negative 3.8. Oh, are you because people are moving to other worlds, maybe? Let's see, what's the negative from? Reduce monthly pop growth by 3.83. Migration represents the overall level of uh, immigration. So they're, they're moving to the other worlds, is what I'm guessing. Huh, all right. Uh, well, we need more food which we're trying. You just don't have the population to run this, do you? Yeah, that's the, the issue we're running into. And the upkeep is a little high. Well, if we wanted to make more amenities, how do we do that? We're gonna have to get, I think it's only structure. Civilian industry has to do that. Meaning we need these populations to grow. So we're gonna have to buy those amenities for now, it looks like. Yeah, let me know if you have any advice on how we can solve some of the issues we've got. I think this is just a population problem that needs to be fixed. We can pick up another tradition. Let's see. Hmm. Can we not? I thought we could. I thought we were at that point. Oh, apparently not. We're not there yet. Zero months. We need an additional 28 unity before we can do it. So we're almost there. What we're gonna pick up, I'm not sure. I'm actually thinking maybe discovery now. Or at least get into the beginnings of discovery, you know, get the 20% anomaly research speed bonus. Maybe even the survey speed bonus. And then we could look towards something else. If we do do that, uh, drop in the comments why you think we should take a different one instead of finishing Discovery. May or may not be worth it. There it is. All right. Because diplomacy doesn't do us any good because we have no one to work with uh, yet. Harmony, population food consumed reduced by 10% would be nice. Leadership lifespan. Time it takes to unemployed pops to demote to lower stratum. Bulwark of harmony. Let's see, build speed increased by 33% while in a defensive war. Greater good increases at the extraction and amenity usage. The food construction take is, is pretty nice. Stability on all plants by 5% and will unlock one ascension brick. That's kind of nice. I was hoping it'd be growth speed. I wonder if there are, we already got growth speed. We got expansion, this gives us the 10%. So you've already taken the only growth speed one that I'm aware of. Uh, I'm actually gonna go with the very beginnings of d discovery for the 20% research speed and probably take the first one boldly go survey speed. So we can start exploring faster in the galaxy, see more of it, figure out where we want to colonize, that kind of jazz. Let's do it. You're here, excellent. Build the star base. As for you guys and your consumer shenanigans. John produces completed. trade and plus amenities. Yeah, the only way that I can see to pick up more of this would be to buy it from here. We can sell Tabana gas on the market. Oh, I didn't even realize we could do this. I didn't notice this was here. We need to get all the Tabana gas. Completed. We need to start mining this like crazy. A hundred of this is worth a hundred credits. Easy. I love it. Construction complete, well done. All right, we'll go ahead and pick up 
the mining stations. And for science, we will send you deeper into the sector. Go ahead and survey. Uh, our navy is so, so tiny and pathetic at the moment. Crap, we didn't build this? I thought we built this, apparently not. Ooh, what do we find? Ring world encountered. We've encountered a massive ring world surrounding that star in the sanctuary system. Preliminary scans. Ooh, the sanctuary system? I love that name. Uh, how did you find, just find a ring world there? I have so many questions. Preliminary scans indicate that it was built eons ago using material of the system's uh, innermost planets. The ring world has four habitable segments, each seemingly home to a pre-space uh, civilization. There is a large space station of some kind located between the ring world and its star. We are receiving a transmission on screen. Welcome to Sanctuary, Sapient. This fully automated facility was established 74,605,338 cycles ago to serve as a nature reserve. Our self-sustaining biome segments feature a selection of non-intelligent flora and fauna, originating from four distinct biospheres. To protect these fragile biospheres, access to our facility is currently restricted. Do not approach this facility under any circumstances. Uh, our sensors show signs of civilization on your ring world. All species present in our biome were thoroughly cataloged when the sanctuary was first established. Records indicate that none of them display intelligent levels approaching sapiens. Your sensors must be mistaken. Do not approach this facility under any circumstances. <laughs> Uh, well, you're wrong. Uh, who created this facility? This facility was constructed by the Zimio over a period of 412 cycles. It was constructed with fully functional 74 million cycles ago. Last recorded visit there was 67 million cycles ago. Uh, there are no recorded visits of any affiliated vessels since that date. There are 38,000 failed attempts by unauthorized vessels to access this facility on record. Do not approach. Crap. Uh, all right. Don't Evasive maneuvers. Get the hell out of there. I want to see it. Whoa. So they're trapped on there. There are sentient life forms on this ring that are trapped. They've. It's been. It's been 78 million years. They could have evolved on it over that period of time. Um. Oh man, should it be our long-term goal to free them? so that they can go beyond the bounds of this this facility that they live in? I kind of love this idea. Let me know in the comments. This is gonna be huge and bizarre. Oh, I love it. All right, scanning is going well there. Uh, I have what I call dicked this up pretty badly. Uh, let's go ahead and let's just get the research stations installed first and some mining stations installed and get that done. Uh, I thought I had had him auto ordered to build here. Apparently not, or I pulled someone away who was already doing it. Uh, you are building your mining stations, correct? Good, good. Uh, how are you doing? You're about to get your first city district online. System survey That'll completed. give us a little bit of trade value on here. Trade value from pops, 0.8. So we get trade value from population, right? Does that mean that this naturally just goes up and then if I build districts, we'll just get more and more trade value? Because high populations sound amazing. High stability. Construction Xenophile completed. 10%, population 6.3. So we're getting seven from there, zero and zero. You got your first district, but nobody's working in it yet. You also have an opening spot. Excellent. I need you to build things for us. It's really important. Uh, apparently, I need uh, artisans turn minerals. Ah, here we go, civil industries. Uh, minerals into consumer goods. <sighs> Do it. Can I just clone people? Isn't that like a thing? Can I just do it? I thought we had cloning technology. Can I just like make people? <laughs> no, I think it's just a flat bonus. I don't think I can just make them. Like there's there's assembly here. Doesn't work that way though. Uh, and then our ground armies. I wonder how these compare to the rest of the galaxy's military. Is our military just a bunch of awesome badasses like I'm imagining? because we have that that uh, that bonus. Go ahead and continue to survey there. Evan Hawk, well done on your mission. You can't go up, you can't go forward. It's kind of blocking you in. Mm. All right, survey this. 
and survey this, and we'll see if it, if it connects anywhere else or if this is a dead end. How are you doing? Mining stations are being put in. Excellent. We do have some other jobs we could research. Oh, we need to fulfill your mandate. By what date? By the end of the term. It's based on totals, right? Mineral surplus up to at least plus 30 a month. It's actually gone down. <laughs> We're fixing it, though. We're fixing it. How's your population doing? What's your total population? It's at 62 out of 100, kicking over at 1.1 a month. Oh, you've lost the thing. Pandora Knowledge Prime has lost its being a brand new um, a brand new colony. Fantastic, but I bet you haven't. Oh, you have. No, wait a minute, I'm looking at the wrong thing. Yeah, there it is. Population growth. I wonder how long that lists. Construction lasts. completed. Oh, that needs to go away. Okay, you're building your thing. Your population is slowly getting there. Hey, we finished research. What the heck did we research? Whoa, what did I just do? Back to gene clinics. Uh, researched recently. Right. There's our clone army technology that we started with. <laughs> Let's go. Cool. Uh, what do we want? Minerals from job. We're sitting at plus 30 at the moment. Plus 5% army damage. Ooh, more army damage. I'm not sure how we're going to effectively use army damage outside of just, you know, invading planets. Uh, I guess for defense as well, for holding out, but well, I guess we'll see. Uh, I'm thinking straight research. That 20% bonus would be real nice from researchers. Hey, you want to connect the rest of this to, the, to our republic? That'd be great. We could go around this way. I want you to go explore. Just go out there. Anomalous I want to see where this runs. I want to see if there's any other empires Construction in that direction. Completed. By chance, we stumbled upon a faint alien signal during the survey of this planet. Uh, well, go ahead and survey it. Find out what we've got. Construction ship, what are you doing? Can you? Can we not mine that yet? Oh, we don't have the technology to mine it. Right. Sorry, I yelled at you. Ooh, there's four power up there already. I don't think there's more than that. Uh, I think we're going to go ahead and double down on expanding to the north so we can get this area locked down. To bore is going to be our next move. Move out. Now, we do have a bit of trading that we could pick up. If we were to... Can we upgrade you? We downgrade you, but we can't upgrade you. Damn. We keep upgrading core station, and we can easily grab the trade here and the trade here without building another space station. I don't really want to get another one down yet. Uh, we just have to get the... Star, yeah, we need the star hole technology. We don't have it. What? We're working on it. Let's check our research. God, we're still doing the the amoeba. It's such a long research. Please tell me your worthwhile. System well. survey concluded. I hope there's like some really cool thing out of this because we're putting a lot of time into it that we haven't done any physics research in a long time. All right, the mummified remains of a single individual belongs to a previously unknown mammalian species, been found drifting high orbit. Uh, left our studies of the corpse has uh, provided some interesting data. I will take that. Boost our research a little bit. You've already finished going over Aeol, the system. Fair enough. Trying to keep this on fast. That's going to be the goal for this campaign. Hey, we're back in the positives for food. It looks like the, um, the planets have managed to grow a bit. Crap, you're out of jobs. How are you already out of jobs? Did you really fill out... I guess it only made two jobs, didn't it? Hey, look at that. You're making trade. Go you. Go you. Civilian infrastructure. You're going to be building that stuff. You've got one job and one house left. Now, if I wait, your population should be high enough on this planet. Yep. As soon as it kicks over, then I'll be able to System pick up one of these. System survey concluded. But, Bastion, I don't really want to wait that long. Let's get another agricultural Construction district completed. online. 
You know what? I'm almost tempted to do two of those. We need to get you making food so we can build, we can buy up more of those um, policies. I want to buy up more policies so we can get planets growing even faster. I want those constantly kicking off. That 25% bonus we're getting for the Republic, it's still going for another thousand days. Sadly, we don't have the income to re-up it again so we can continue that growth. We don't have enough amenities on this planet, huh? Uh, dedicated toward fulfilling the day-to-day -day needs of the population. A planet that does not meet the amenities needs of the population will suffer penalties to happiness. Oh, no. I don't want you guys pissed off. We need to get you... Uh, what do we need to make you happy? I'm guessing it's going to be the city districts that are going to be required. Also increases trade output, though, so it's not all bad. All right. Well, let's fix our consumer goods drain first before we get to that point. Okay, you're moving. Construction you're moving. completed. Science ship, you have finished your job. Oh, that was all that was there? Sad times. I want you to head up here and help him. Once again, let's go do some long distance exploring and not scanning for a minute. I want to see what's out there. And we're waiting on Space Amoeba research before we go any farther into, like, the nebula to the north or to the south, because I think we can make these guys uh, non-hostile, which would be really nice. Extraction ship, what are you doing? You, you, you need to make a mining thingy. Do the mining thingy. How are we doing on urban sprawl? Multiplied by 154% due to 73% empire cohesion. We are at 65 out of 50. We're over our imperial sprawl. Damn. Okay, we need to stop expanding as much as we are. A bit. We need to we need to focus on only where it's really really valuable to expand until we can get that number up. So, give you an idea if we can see for research. System survey what kind of impact concluded. is that happening having on us? Four percent slower research at the moment due to our sixty-five empire sprawl. Uh, we should be seeing that across the board. We are. So my question for you all is, keep this in mind when we start doing our conversations in the comments section. Uh, if we go to brain fart here, the, no, this, we could take, like once we pick up, once we pick up Boldly Go, we could switch over and do something like Dominion and get, No, it's not Dominion. Which is the one that allows us to go farther? Take more territory. That's Federation work. We need to make contact before we do diplomacy. Maybe Dominion. Clear blockers, enforcers of crimes, capital building, housing, governor leadership, ruler levels. Oh, it'd be, the, it'd be the Ascension perk. That's what it is. It's the Ascension perk. What I'm thinking of is actually Imperial Prerogative that'll give us administration cap. So something we might want to think about. We wouldn't be going full on Imperial, but the idea that we can expand without having huge impact. Because now every completed. sector we take is going to slow our research down. And to be honest, I don't think our research is that great so far. It's something we're working on. All right, I really wanted this to be done before this mission was over. We've got, or this uh, this episode was over. We've got 42%. And we've been running on fast this entire time. Construction completed. Evan Hawk, what you doing? You finished the job. Uh, Dust Bowl, home to a number of exquisite impact, uh, exquisite impact craters. Go ahead and do the research. It's probably just a, a mineral increase of some kind. Hey, look at that. We're in plus 10 there and plus zero there. Perfect. Perfect. We're back into the positives across everything on the board. Bastion, we need to really double down on your food production. And that's exactly what we're going to do. Do it later, though. Oh, and you would also give us more trade. Yeah, we're going to upgrade the crap out of uh, core for trade, I think. And spread out so we can take all of these trade points through it as soon as we get the space station research. All right, well, ladies and gentlemen, in the center of a particularly large crater on C11F lies a cluster of metal shapes, doubtlessly of alien origin. Science Officer CT 1995 is convinced that they are massive planetoid mountable propulsion devices. 
So they pushed it in the area. Hey, ion thruster technology. Game. Knowledge. Really? Is the key to the we universe. just got free ion tech for our smaller ships. That's cool. Don't need to do anything. Our research is continuing on. All right, ladies and gents, let me know in the comments below where we should focus our efforts in the next episode. We've expanded a little bit. Let me zoom out. You can see the galaxy. Expanded a little bit, found some aliens, some life outside of our own, and most interestingly, sanctuary. Could this be a long-term goal? I have a feeling that the Senate will be debating what to do with this potential threat or ally on the edge of our... Uh, of our empire for a long time. We're gonna have a, a, a while before we can figure out what to do with it because honestly, there was like a 10,000 power station in the middle, but it's something that we can work towards. Maybe liberating them. Like there's the defenses that they've got. It's an interesting problem to have. I don't know. All right, everybody. See you in the next episode. Later all.